Arcana is here to play on the side of Alliance as they pick up that Shaker. So three being chased on two. Mike might be able to actually kill him here. He will get the final here. First blood. Turns out Earthshake Arcana doesn't matter. It's, uh, it's actually the Jug Arcana that matters. It's Axa. He's got the fire strike to get away. He has to turn around, and that's going to mean he's death. That's two kills for them right there. Saxa bottom lane. Going in. Dump straight across. Quake for pushes him back further. Saxa says thank you very much. And now Sandstorm, I can hide in about eight, five seconds. Nope. They actually use the Coria. They get the side. On the mid lane, Tiger. They're going in right now. Balls. Tiger's going to fall, but they might find some vengeance here. Although it's just Foxy in the end. Game two starts right now. We're just going to do our best and cast this game. Right, Foxy mid. Oh, Foxy. Protected though, they push it off. The spin comes out, chase from the ace right now. Five strikes out to slow down the others. Tiger can't get cross sides there, and not enough to kill ace. They throw out the Omni Slash as well. The drow's down for 30 seconds. Luckily, the side didn't get the extra spawn time. Sand King behind as well, ch chasing down. Tiger's begging for help right now. There's no way out though. Saxa says you're not leaving alive. Yeah, PPD is running away from Mikkei, as Mikkei isn't really that fast. Bit of a mishap there. Meanwhile, oh, top, jumping in. Tiger, they're trying to go on him. Right now, it's going to turn around to 33. Quick for moving in. Needs to be careful. Being slowed down by the frost arrows and sun and stuff. Now, the pierce damage will start to really damn well hurt. Gets the armor toggle. False promise to protect him. Tiger getting low. Has the echo slam, but doesn't use it. Quick for will look to retreat. He healed up He's pretty damn well. Out, but there's everyone coming up. Even That's PBD. Diving. They decide against it. They force a TP rotation in our Mike. They know Mike is the biggest threat to them right now. They can handle oh, the Huskar, they can't handle both, but they're moving in. Quaifer has the inner fire, it's going to push them back a little bit. Fire Strike comes out, and a little bit of trouble. Mike moving in, has Omni Slash, but no. Gus comes out, jumps forward, and with the life rate, goes on Lafana, going to get rid of him quick enough. Omni Slash bounces across, Huskar's down, Viper as well. And now they're going to spin Mike, going for the kill on the Saxa, the dust does reveal him. Boxy about to escape, in the meantime, Saxa will fall. I got okay, still there. chasing. Ace, trying to move away. He has to keep turning around with these Frost Arrows, though, and that's the problem. Tiger cuts him off perfectly with the Fissure. They'll run him down. Ace, the big kill they're looking for. TP out by 33. PPD and Ace might not be so lucky, though. Ace will be killed off. Try for the kill insane here, but no proc for him. They ping on the PPD. He still has to borrow time, but... Be careful. Roche is below half HP. If, if anyone leaves this Roche engagement, the other team will take it. Smoke on the other side. Boxy breaks it. Things come out. They're playing really well around the side. Backside, Sand King's gone. 60 seconds 60 on the sidelines. No so buyback either. The drums activate. Mike wants to pursue for more, but they can't find it just yet. Yeah, and also he's going to have the bounties. Uh, but it's on the rest of his team to try and delay this rush because it's falling fast. PBD chasing him right now. Has the bar time to work with again. Buyback comes out from Sand King. Jacob ready to jump in. But he can't. Blink Dagger is on cooldown. They pick up the Aegis. Snatched by Mike. And NIP get the kill. They don't get the Aegis. Necrofoss needs to be saved. False Promise comes out for Foxy. The damage should overwhelm him. And Insania, he'll go down. In a fight, pushing fight away. Actually assists him in the end. Foxy says, screw it, I'm dead anyway. Omni Slash gets set up for them. Gonna go chase Shaker. them through. They tank it between him. Mike has the spin. Looking on the PPD. He's gonna get rid of him quickly. And Shaker is being zoned away by Saxer at all times. Mike now in trouble. Needs some assistance. Does have that Aegis to work with. They're gonna bait them in. Tiger, no Echo Slam, no mana. He can't actually go for it. Instead, he needs to move with quickly. But the epicenter jump forward. Saxa gets the kill. The silence is out to Mike. He has no way to escape the CV. Even with the wand, he knows he's dead. Yeah, he was patient. He was waiting. He was ready and waiting. But it just never happened. Jug went way too deep without follow-up. Huskar was not following him. Shaker was not Tiger. following him. Oh, he tried. Again? And now... Oh, they push him out of the sprout. But the damage is done. He's too low already. He's, he's going to fall. You can see how desperate he is to try and find some value out of this blink. And... Desperation is King actually is what we're making value out of it. Xenia, trouble, gusted up. Get rid of the trees, Dead. but it's too late. He's on double kill already for 33. They're going to pursue looking for more. Chances are he won't die and they're, they'll uh, counter attack them. Tiger might, though. He's in trouble right here. With his arm, try and protect him. They activate the borrowed times, chase him to make sure he can't blink in any direction right now. FCNB charged up. Saxa just snipes him out. Four on four, and guess who wins the NIP support now? Moving in, Omni Slash gets killed in a drought. Gonna be using the Never Strike coming out across on the Quake Bus, slowing him down a little bit, but they need to do more than this. Bada looking to turn around, it's gonna break on the Huskar, it's gonna be a force promise to protect him, jumps forward with a life break, pushes him across, disarming the Viper, looking for the kill still. Should heal up a lot from this, but Bada is so tanky, the side comes out, it's not enough to kill him off though. So much match resistance with his pipe build, on the side, PPD goes down to Mike, they might finally get Bada, but it cost them a lot of time. They, that cost them a lot of time, and meanwhile, 3 3, what has he been doing? He's just on top lane, split pushing, and that's about it. But while Mike was pushing out the top, 33 had to come up here to slow it down and respond. That means they've forced profit. 
away from this area. The rest of his team's around. The benefit is that you can TP back in. Bar Strike comes out and sending him in trouble. Full full here. Fisher not really changing much. Echo landing a bit heavily with the Echo Slam. It's not enough though. They're going to bounce across. The Omnistash goes the wrong way. And Ace is left on the side to poke and prod at the squishy element of Alliance as Mike is ran down and chased off. He can't get out. He cut the wrong tree. He cut the wrong tree. And Necro at the same time. Oh, find very it too. low. Yeah, Saksa there we go. Saksa will get the kill. These two tanky targets, Fata and Saksa, they just couldn't get them. And now this tier 3, look at it, melt. It won't take long. He's got the pass on PVD and Boxy being chased on two bars right through off. He's done it with heals. He needs to get out of dodge, but I'm not sure if he can. Insania going to be chased away. He'll throw out the false promise just before he dies. Boxy didn't really need it, but well, better it used the new dead and unable to throw it out any longer. Fisher, Tiger. Once again, the story of the game being blocked out, unable to do anything. The double stun is good. Tiger's going to fall. Now chase a fall. Boxy with the Spirit Vessel and should fall next. He's got the Scythe. No chance to use it. Koifer goes down. And it looks like this might be coming to a close. Everyone on the side of Alliance is dead. Buyback comes out from Haskar. Jug is back up. This is our one last chance, our one last hurrah. raw. Because NIP have no intention of leaving this base. Man, he was in the bathroom for 13 minutes to return to this shit. It, it's not good. They're lo they just lost one lane. They lost the top lane before to the Nature's Prophet. Speaking of the Nature's Prophet, they try and punish him, but instead quick, but he's feeling the pain. Sprout locks him in. This arm won't matter. Doesn't affect match giving you targets. He will go down, and that'll just renew the push. The thing is, there's a tier two standing. So NIP, instead of going for the Ancient, they will just try and go for the easier choice of going for Megas. Yeah, they have to get this tier two down before they go for the Mega, so they move back a little bit. Huskar is dead for 60 seconds. Necro is up in 28. Oh, Insania. Yeah. Looks like Insania. Yeah, yeah, he's gonna fall to Ace. As he had that high ground ward, he had the vision, but he took him down. Well, Mikke, 15 seconds and a dream. A dream that doesn't involve you bouncing the creeps, although the creeps will be cleared quickly by the Battle Fury. Yule's coming out, Team Shaker out the fight, Saxa, Fire strikes him, he's just maximizing his control to make sure he can't do anything. Fisher being used, Shaker almost down. TBD's thinking about going for a fight, free because TB and they missed time at Tiger. Looks like he might go down, one more hit's gonna be enough. Mikke cuts the tree to escape. But with the Shaker, they know it's over, GG, GG comes out. Yeah, that's about it. It was just way too difficult for them. After that uh, bottom lane tier 2 fight, it, the game is just worth up. Uh, NIP, truth be told, they were just in front. They had Troll is banned out, Morph is banned out, Nyx, perhaps Sven. Yeah, Sven makes a lot of sense. He's going to be just as much a pain in the ass as Sven would be. Oh, uh, well, oh, I'm talking about that. Actually. Wow, that's an unexpected mistake from PPD there. Jamil right now queued up. See what after. Oh, Dania. Locks him in, but the lift is dragging back, so they're scared because Boxy is here. Squash Buckle gets a kill, glimpse is back, pointless sleep, but the wrong thunder off cooldown. 23 is here to play, but he's too fast at night time. He's so. too fast, and Ember is also connecting. However, they are retreating towards the shrine, and Down. they have to because Fata is here. Yeah, this is bold from Fata. He goes pretty deep, he's silenced up, and he will fall 33. He just activated night time, he used his big fat dark ascension. Catapult. Also, I didn't say that Battle Fury is alright versus the PL. Ben. Trouble. Wrong Thunder. Chasing in. Ace. Can't even get his stun out. They try to protect him, but maybe too late. Throws out the stun on Tiger, but he's dead, and Tiger's still alive. Zach's are hiding in the sandstorm in the meantime. Fata he is wants to try and zap him. Up, coming in right now. Boxing needs to back away from this. Got the squash buckle to escape. Remnant in. Side steps in the meantime. The Fade Bolt does get the kill on the Tiger. Now they're going to converge on the Boxy. The option would be there, There's though. a fight on the top lane, and this Mirana might port in to try and defend the tower. He is Static Storm. Fada trapped him. Wrong Fada. The ambush from behind. They're going to get bamboos with Fada. He's going to go down. And 33 activates the Dark Ascension again. Not a good one, though. Glimpse back into the Fire Strike, and he'll die. And this this 33 Night Stalker, usually such a dominant force in games whenever we watch him. Uh, later, so your options are limited. Top lane, Koikwa. Going in. Wrong Fada. Chasing on the Saxa. Stun him up once, and that's enough to bring him down. PBD shows his face as well. He's still not level 6. What was that? That was a death. Onto the Ember Spirit, but they just failed to do so. And Fata gets out Rana. of the remnant. Yep. Quick for Well, maybe that BKB would have been a good thing. It's caught out here with the rotation in. When you're switching no cooldown. The shop, no cooldown, exactly. Also, Tiger is close to Blink Daggers. They need to kill him. They're going to try again. This time, they'll succeed. An important pick off. So, um, the side of NIP, they got Koikva and they got Tiger too. But they have to be careful because of the glimpse. Mid. 
Yep. Arrow. Oh, missed. Oh, nice stun coming out. Ruby with the stolen arrow. Connects on the boxy. The real arrow is going to come through now. Ace still in that static storm. They're trying to protect him. Going to get him low. 33 forcing him away with the silence. Now, Royal Thunder will be activated. Saxon will stay behind. If he can get the rest out, he'll be happy with that. But this should be Alliance now pushing on to tier 1 mid. Farda going to be scared away. The defusal is up and online. Glimpse back. He mistimes everything. Go go for the Remnant Battle. Man on Farda now out of life. With the creep wave here, Alliance will look to take the tier 1 tower along with two heads from the side of NIP. Thank you. I need to get a valley out of his static storms before that point arrives. And, well, this is not how you do it by dying. DPs are coming in. A little bit too late to help. Box, you'll still commit though. Trying to move across. Yours is there. Arrow through. Nope. 33 side steps it. It's a mistake there. I mean, it's a panic thing to do. Definitely. Ace, mid lane. Going in. Roll oh, Thunder through. Ace. Our mana. He's going to go down again. PPD helpless. He can't assist in any way with these Yules is ruining everything. And now they're going to ruin his face forever. But they just burn through him. Sanking could go in the top lane in the meantime. As yeah, Father ever. punished Tiger for engaging on him. But it's definitely not easy. Insania, however, lifted up. Back. We we'll killed off. It's night time and she's afraid to move from the high ground of that top lane. Oh, oh. they're gonna move in. Sack to the target. The stun turn around. Pangolin pretty tanky though. He can get the wrong Thunder Rock if he wants to. They lift up. Trying to keep Mike out of the fight. The stun is there. A still control. Moon across the silence now. You'll stop, but running out of life. When he comes down, he's dead. Mike is gonna fire up against this. Needs to start to back away though. Static Storm down to protect him. Gonna turn around. BKB activated by 33. Mike will drop a gang down. Look to escape. They're moving across. Rushes across the creep. Glimps away, but 33 still pursuing this. BK, no doppelganger for three seconds. Can they buy enough time? Kinetic field won't be there in time to save Miss Cool kills them off. Uh, 3 3. Gonna dodge that arrow and gonna continue pursuing. Oh, no, that, that was off the mark. Glimps. Uh, no, he doesn't. Insania. The Fire Fist will get him, though. Quickfoot doesn't want to go in heavily. They're gonna smoke, actually. They're trying to just play this out, fade it in. Sun through, roll Thunder, PPD gets the borrow time off, BKB from 33, fighting up against this right now, guys, Sun's up multiple targets, PL just gonna hit into him in the meantime, Sanking, getting low, four stuff, gets him away, God's strength, Ace trying to chase him, Yules will control him up though, and Farda trying to move across the defusal, luckily for him, he got the rim now beforehand, BKB activated, chase him on insane, he's gonna zone him away, in the meantime, Pangolin is gonna fall him back on the main fight, BK has to back away, even though Ace has no mana, he hits too hard, Insania will fall to Farda. Farda chase for more. Tiger's going to be low. Dust reveal. 33 going in. No BKB. Koifus is activated. He's trying to go for this. Leaping forward. He says, if you're going to mess with me, I'm going to mess with you. But he doesn't get it. 33 still alive. One hit needed on the other side. They're going to chase down Saxer and kill him off. Mike has been ignored through most of this fight. Now he needs to try and find some value. Chasing on the ace. No mana still. That should get the fuse off cooldown. The Warcry allowing ace to run away. He's going to be able to trigger the shrine to get the mana. But he decides to just tie him in. Baiting him in, in arrow. fact, the arrow does connect, and that should be enough to bring down the pot. It should try and protect him. Remnant just jumping across, the double gang comes out. Ace trying to move away quick enough. Buyback comes out from Rubik in the meantime. The missed call, keep him alive. Ace. Can they finish this? The Fodic Shield will protect him. The stop from the center. Crucial moment. Stuns Bada. them all off. Bada. BKB going to be chased down. Mike. He does last a long time. But he just doesn't have the damage to find kills. PBD. He's got the borrowed time again. He's going to be able to escape. And through all of that, Mike is just ignored. All right, well, we've got a game now. That's what we're going to focus on because Rose is pretty low right now. 33 trying to move in, but they ignore Rose. They go for PPD. They're going to force out the borrowed time. 33 trying to finish off the Rose quick enough. And they'll realize in a second he's not doing anywhere near quick enough. They're going to move in right now. Static Storm's going to go down. BKB at bit. Brenman's jumping in right now. Who's going to get the exit on the ground? 33, he grabs it. They're going to turn around. Pangolier's down. Didn't get a roll of thunder out. Now it's on the side. They found Mike. They do have the damage this time to bring him down. No double gang to work with. He's going to fall. Three dead what on the, the side of a line. The 33. Alliance lingering around. They could try and make a plan of Farda, but be bold. Reinforcements coming in. Fire strike. Epidemi charged up. Arrow does connect. Can they get him quick enough to leap forward? It should be enough to bring down the Ember. The Glimmer Cape won't protect him. The Dark Reveal goes out. They do see them. Moving across. Tiger guy is the target. And Quickfa, he has a BKB. He could go for the TP away. Leaping across right now. And in the meantime, TPD will die to Mike. But Quickfa, they can't kill him off. The BKB gets him out. And Alliance, they're in a rough spot once again. Mid lane. DK needs to be a little bit careful here. Dark Sense back there, moving in. He'll doppelgang away. Gets the high ground. Phantom Rush across. They're chasing through. Came out to just delay Ace's initiation. Mikael will be able to escape, but someone has to be left behind. The Static Storm gets dropped, but it doesn't change anything. He's dead. Rubik, however, gets picked off. 110 seconds without Saxa. BK, melting through the mana of Ace. He turns around. BKB activated. Doesn't have enough for a stun. That's one cold down anyway. He's going to go for the TP here. Oh, oh, no, he's he doesn't back. get it. He gets bashed up. Ace is going to go down 100 seconds dead. But if you give him a single pick off, they will definitely go for front. Yeah, Wait, instead, huh? they're going to move towards this bottom lane. Uh, they can't go for Megas. This tier 2 on the top lane is still up. 
that is true. BBD forced the, the borrowed time straight away. So now you have no one who's willing to stand on the front line because Dark Ascent just won't cool down for 30 seconds. They should be able to get a second melee racks here quite easily. It is night time. 33 might make a move. They're smoked off. They don't want to have to give this over. Mikkei just run through this. Shiva slows down the attack speed a bit. The damage is done. They pop that ulti. Points in the game. You're playing versus Sven and Ember. So taking down two sides is good. That's but it's not game. But he's going in. Nullify on a quick, but he's already activated the BKB. He'll go for the TP away before it connects, and he's out. Done. BK. He's been left behind. He's going to get caught out and killed. 100 seconds dead. He does have buyback. I believe NIP. They're going to be uh, searching for a fight. Done. The fight is going to find them. Goes in. Arrow through on the Saxa. Nullifier down the tank. King Vettel will bring down the Rubik first. The 33. He's going deep for this, but he might give his life. BKB out They're going to chase through. God's strength. Ace trying to get in quick, but needs to back away from this. He has got any leaps left. Limps will get ace away, but not far. Quick, goes down. Side yep. storm won't protect. And now PPD with the bar of time stays light. Mikkei looking to move away right now. Swash buckle to just deter them a little bit. Science out. 33. No mana to burn through. East the cheese to find him to the bait them even deeper. Mikkei trying to chase, but can't find it. Roll and find a Foxy. Assume through for a target right now. Buyback forced out of the Sand King. In the meantime, Mikkei just looking to back out. It just wasn't good enough. Now they do have to buy back on Mirana, but Taiga does not have a buyback. And there it is. Buy back. Very well aware of that. Yeah. Oh, stun coming out. This Sven. He doesn't have a second life to work with in this push. He needs to be careful. Down to half HP. Stands fights. Mike. BKB activated. Glimpse to get one of them away. A still stands his ground with the BKB. Grimms got to slow us down a little bit. Moving him right now. Mirana needs to contribute her damage though. Rolling Thunder coming through. Boxy looking for a target with the Moonlight Shadow. They can't quite see it coming, but 33 reveals it all. Mike going pretty deep. He's the cheese. Saks are going to stay alive. Sand King is still nowhere to be seen for 70 seconds. So this is their best opportunity. Mike thinks he's going to tick out. They find him. The DKB on fire allows him to do even further. Fort the buyback comes in, but Disrupt is already dead. Bottom win. It's an Ace. God's strength. Going to go in towards this BK. Needs to be careful down to half HP. BKB gets activated. But he still has to back away. Bar Strike is good, but Tiger's going to be lifting the drag back towards him. The stolen Bar Strike can be used against him. Sand King is low. He will go down. He actually doesn't have any way back in this. Two minutes still on the cooldown for the buyback. Static Storm's gonna be there. Sven stands his ground still up against this Mikkei. Has to back away. Quick with the BKB. Gonna leap away. Buyback comes out from Boxy. But can he do enough with this? Is the real question. 33 low mana, low on elf. Lift. Long time lasting on the Pangolier. Rolling Fun is gonna be used trying to charge forward here. But an IP Lips. composed already out. Glimpse to drag them back. Ace is so damn tanky though. How do you approach him right now? I don't think you can. Boxy has to back away. Lift is there again. Ace decides maybe to hit buildings, but then changes his mind towards heroes. Morano's down. Quick for his out. No way back no in this. Boxy, they're going to target him next. If he it. falls, this could be it. UK still alive, but now he's alone in a world of pain. How does he hold the rest of NIP back? I don't think he can. He's going to try, though. Mikkei goes in. Glimpse back. Rubik's the target, but protected by the Glimmer Cave. Mikkei turns on the ace. Barely feels the pain, though. Missed call. Just adds that little bit of damage towards all the illusions. The force of Mikkei back. Needs to heal up. NIP in the base, refusing to leave. Ember Spirit's not even here right now. When he returns, they might look for that final just cut of the throat that causes the blood of Alliance to spill out over their own throne. Here it comes. Nikkei. Standing up against this. Fire Strike through. BKB was activated, though. Looking on his but so damn tanky. Always sustained. Always kept alive. The BKB is going to run out soon. And once it does, he can't even find a kill on a PPD anymore. The man who just died a little bit too much at the start refused to fall anymore. Static Storm used defensively. Mikkei moving back, but the throne exposed. And NIP will take the second game and force Alliance down to the lower bracket here in style. What's a great game. A little bit delayed, but overall, NIP just showing up and playing a little bit quicker than Alliance.